Docu okay. Docu it's like a burn. Docu so burn seed. we found a wolf spider outside of our hotel room. A large wolf spider. A large wolf spider, and we gave it a new home in a microwave. We weren't intending to cook it, but Zach hit it with a door. <laughs> Because it lunged at him, so we ended up cooking it. Mm. Two minutes. For two minutes. It was now it's like crispy, very like foul a smelling. And now this young fellow has agreed to to eat the wolf spider after it's been cooked for twenty dollars American. And this is for science. This is for and science. And he's a vegetarian by the way. It's, it's, <laughs> it's for science. I refuse to eat meat. This is for science. Do it. Fucking do it. Science. Fucking do it. This is for science. Fucking do it. Fucking do it. And 20 bucks. The legs, you'd be surprised how resilient the wolf spider is after it's dead. The legs still clamor. <laughs> and back of the throat. <laughs> the, legs, the wolf spider is a very resilient species, if you can see right here. Look at Cannon right here. The legs have these little hooks, and they actually, oh, after it dies, it, it actually hooks the back of your throat, and it, and as if to say, please, <laughs> as if to say, please don't eat me. <laughs> and, and, it, and you literally cannot eat the wolf spider. That's how. That's why the wolf spider has it's no a natural defense mechanism. It has no natural predators. <laughs> we found out tonight the wolf spider has no natural predators. <laughs> the wolf spider fights back from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. I tried. I tried. <laughs> <laughs>